guys, welcome back to my channel. It is Kat here, and today I have my second current favorites video for you guys. I've just really been loving some stuff, and I wanted to share it. So I'm going to start off with some fashion bits, and I have just been loving these flat shoes. They, I believe I got them from Dillard's, but the brand is Nine West. And I just think they are gorgeous. I really want to be a heels type of girl, but I'm just not. I love the way they look. I definitely have my own little collection, but when it comes down to it, I just don't get a lot of use out of them. They're not functional, and I really just feel like I look like an idiot walking in them. These are great for, you know, a dressy outfit. You know, if you're going out at night, going on a date, or if you have a formal event to go to, but you don't feel comfortable walking in heels, I find that these pair well with just about anything. So the next thing I have to share with you is a bra from a brand called Adore Me. You've probably seen YouTube videos about this brand, you might have seen commercials. I know I've always heard the name Adore Me and I really wondered what the brand was about. They sent me an email and reached out to me and asked if I wanted to try something of theirs, so of course I said yes. And this has ended up being one of my most worn favorite bras. I'm really basic when it comes to undergarments. I like black, white, and tan. This just works perfect. Not crazy about the little bow. I noticed that a lot of their bras and underwears are very frilly and lacy and have bows and if you like that sort of thing, that's you, but personally I tend to go for a boring, clean, plain look. Like I said, this is one of my favorite undergarments now. I wear it all the time and when it does poke out of a shirt I'm wearing, it looks really cute. The next fashion bit I have is a scarf and it looks like this on one side. It has sort of a houndstooth checkered pattern going on and on the other it has a flannel. So that makes for a nice detail to an outfit. If you follow me on Instagram or you follow my blog, you ha will have seen my post. And I'm just obsessed with this scarf. I think it goes so well with so many different outfits. And since it's so big, I just find that it's very, very functional. I sometimes will just wrap myself up in it like a blanket. Or you can do the more stylish, over-the-shoulder look. I really like this, and if you don't have a massive scarf in your life, you need one. Okay, moving on to beauty. I have three items that I want to share with you. One of these is kind of lame, the other is amazingly cool. We'll start with the in the in between. This is a deodorant that I've been using and it's called Lichen Plant Herbal Scent and it is by Earth Science. So I got this at Whole Foods. I've tried other natural deodorants and for me, they just don't work. I sweat a lot, I know that that's gross, but it happens, and especially when I get nervous, I just I just sweat, so it's a real issue and I need a good deodorant. This one works all day, however, if I'm going to be working out, I have to put on something a little bit heavier, so I usually go for Dove, but when I am you know, get out of the shower and I'm going to bed, or if I'm just having a relaxed day, I really, really like this. The next thing is so basic, and it is this tub of Vaseline. I have never given Vaseline a thought before, really, but I ended up getting this to put on a scar to help it heal, and then since then I've just been using it as lip balm. I'll dab it around my eyes. Sometimes I even mix it in with my lotion, and I just find that it really, really helps the skin get that nourishment and hydration that it needs. The last thing on my beauty list to share with you is something quite luxurious and it is this YSL lipstick. I want to say this was like $37 which is very expensive for a tube of lipstick but I splurged and I really really love the color. It's in Rogue Something Shine and it's number nine. I will leave the color below, but I just love this shade so much. I normally use matte lipsticks, and this has a very nice sheen to it, so I really like that. This lipstick is amazing, and if you have an extra 30-something dollars to spend on something, there you go. I don't think I've ever included a food category in my favorites videos, but I'm going to. I'm going to start it with these bad boys, they are the original chimes, and if you've never tried a chime, you're missing out. 
I've given these candies to a lot of people and they end up spitting them out and it's heartbreaking seeing that chime go to waste. But they're kind of weird. They're peanut butter and ginger. So that's kind of a weird combination. They're chewy and they have sort of a powder on the outside. They don't sound very good, but I promise they are. At least if you have a palate like me, I think you'll really like chimes. The next food favorite is something I've been obsessed with lately and that's popcorn. I've tried so many brands of popcorn because I just love it. Sweet, salty, not salty or sweet, I just love it all. But my favorite is this brand and this is the Buddha Bowl Foods. So this one was the avocado, then it has Himalayan pink salt, which just sounds good and it's supposedly healthier. I just really love this stuff. If you ever see this in the store, pick it up, try it. You're gonna love it. My next favorite is something kind of personal and it is something I made because I am finishing up in school right now. I'll have a BSW in social work, which is quite a feat. We went to this orientation and the professor wanted us to make a dream board or something that we could look at daily that would sort of motivate us and really help us center ourselves. So I went through some magazines I cut out some pictures and I posted them to my own little inspiration slash dream board. And it looks like this. When we were in class, we went around the room and we all had to pick one of these cards. And then in front of everyone, we had to say how this relates to us. I got the candle and I can't quite remember what I said, but I tried to be as witty as I could. I incorporated it into this because it's it's kind of like a constant light. And as cheesy as it sounds, whenever you're in a dark place, you can always remember that light at the end of the tunnel and it'll help you get through whatever you're going through. Some of the words I put on my dream board was purpose, mind and body, personal best, organic happiness, and unite. And then down here I have people of all walks of life uniting I have love, 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 and love because I just think the only way to make progress and to really make this world a beautiful place is to unite and to love one another. So my board is very nature-based because I just really love nature and I get a lot of inspiration from it. And up at the top here I have an egg as a sun and it says break some eggs because the truth is you're gonna mess up. And when you do, it's really important to learn from, you know, your mess ups, your screw ups. I think that's really inspiring and I always love hearing stories of failure that have turned into successes, whether it be in your career or personally. It's all just very, very cool and magical. So that is my dream board and if you're creative and you're feeling it, I suggest making a dream board. Something that you can look at every day that brings you inspiration and reminds you of the kind of person you want to be. If you do decide to make a dream board, please tag me, snap it, do something, because I would love to see. So my last favorite is a YouTuber. I always like to incorporate YouTubers into my favorites videos because I just feel like there's a lot of people out there that don't get the recognition they deserve. Anyways, this YouTuber that I've been loving is a girl named Kitty Cotton. Her and her husband, or I think it's her fiance, they just bought a house and they are refinishing it. They're doing a bunch of DIY things. She has the coolest personality. She's really funny and just charming. And I love her, her videos. Her Instagram is equally as beautiful. I just really really like watching her so if you are interested in that sort of thing you might want to check her out. That concludes this current favorites video. I want to thank you for watching and I recently hit 10,000 subscribers which is absolutely insane so I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you to the people that leave me comments and really support what I'm doing. It just really means a lot that people go out of their way to comment and watch my videos and I know that everyone always says this. It's kind of cheesy, but I honestly mean it. I really appreciate you supporting and liking my videos. So thank you, thank you, and I will see you next time. Bye.